Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to be here with you today to give you a new face update. Yes, that's right. I've used the new face going on about a year and I really think that it helps, especially in terms of firming the jawline and raising the cheekbones and doing a little bit on the upper eyes too because my brows tend to fall and be straight and I really do think that this little gadget lifts those eyebrows up and gives them a little bit more arch. And recently, a lot of viewers have been asking me to do an update on my new face experience and so I will do that in this video. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in looking your best, feeling your best, doing your best in your second half, I hope you'll click that little bell that will just notify you of my future videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be great too. Okay, let's get into this. Well, I started using the new face about a year ago. And for the first 60 days, you're supposed to use it 15 minutes a day to do a whole workout on your face. And I would say I did that pretty religiously. Once in a while, I would miss a day, but I did it for the first 60 days and it really looked great. I felt like my skin looked firmer and I felt my cheeks looked higher and these little jowls that I was starting to get just seemed to sort of perk back up again. It was very good. And then after the first 60 days, you do it two to three times a week. And quite honestly, I went through kind of a stressful period. So for about three months, I almost didn't do this. And then I did a video, which I will link below, of what happens when you quit using the new face. And when you quit using the new face, your face does not go back to worse than it was before you started, but you do lose the good results. So this is something you have to do every day. And that doesn't really bother me because we have to brush our teeth every day and no one complains about that. And for the wonderful benefits that this new face brings over time, I think this is something that is worth working into your schedule. If you're interested in just giving your face that little bit of extra firmness, and so anyway, after I did that video, I realized that I better get back into using my new face. And so I started again, probably about a month of doing it pretty much every day to get the tone back. And now I do it two to three times a week to keep those results. And I alternate it with this little guy, which is the Facial Flex. I really swear by both of these things. And if you'd like to see an update video on my Facial Flex use, because it has changed over time, then just leave a comment below the video and I'll be glad to update you. But I really think these two tools used together are what is helping me keep my jowls in place. Okay, enough talking on my part. Let me take you into my bathroom and I'll show you how I use the new face. Okay, I'm going to show you my new face treatment and primarily I'm trying to lift this part of my face and the eyebrows, which I always have a little bit of problem with eyebrows not being arched. And I think the new face does help with that. I start with the new face gel primer and I've used another conducting gel from Walmart and I really feel like the new face gel does work a little better. I don't know why exactly. So you just smooth it all over the area that you want to work. And then you turn the new face on, which is very easy to do. And it clicks and you just go like this. It's about six or seven counts in my mind. And it beeps once you get to the top. And I do three sets of beeps in each area. I'm going lower, right along that jawline, because you want that to stay tight. And then we'll go on this side. Here we go, top, top position. And I almost like to drag it a little bit under the eye there. This is the third and final. Middle, it's bottom, middle, and top. Here we go. And then I do a couple of advanced holds. The first is for the jawline. You just put it here. And that's where you start to get the first little bags and sags. I just let it beep once each position. And then there we go. And I always use it on the highest setting. You can just feel little tiny pulses there. Oh, this is under the cheekbone. You're trying to lift the cheekbone here, get those muscles all in good shape. Three holes there. And then I take a little of the gel and I put it on my upper eye. You should probably maybe start with new gel, but and I hold this for a count of three. 
three beads. And if I have time, I'll run it from the outside to the inside. I like to make this pretty quick. And I just kind of move it along there very slowly. I don't really listen to the beeps on this one. This is kind of of my own making. <laughs> and they use the little L attachment a lot for the upper eyes and the lips, but I've not been using that. Probably need to add that in. If you'd like to see a video of some results, maybe I'll add that in and we'll see if we can get some results. I hear it is very good for lifting, especially for lifting the, the eyebrows. There we go. And I think you can already tell that this side of my face is more lifted than this side of my face. It just looks a little more baggy and saggy over here. Try to get in the same light. And here it just looks a little more sleek. And then I get under the chin and on the top part of the neck and I again add more solution. Turn it on again. And I'm just doing a hold here right under the chin. I do two counts each. So I really want to keep that under chin firm. And I do three holds under the chin. Sometimes I go back in the middle and do just one right here. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess I worry about getting a little double chin there. You can just feel tiny pulses. You shouldn't feel any pain. Now, I also do my upper neck. I don't do my lower neck just because I have a little bit of a thyroid issue down there and I don't know that it's a problem, but I don't wanna mess with my thyroid. So I start here. I'm just going to do a little pass till it beeps. Oh, gotta turn it on. <laughs> so you just start here at the middle of the neck and go outward. Till it beeps. I do three there. Three there. And then I go to the middle and just do a little bit on the middle. Just to hopefully smooth out those necklines. And I do three. And I do not do my forehead at all. If you don't use Botox up there, I would definitely do your forehead. One more, and I'll show you how to do that. I don't do it because I use Botox there, and to me it doesn't make any sense. This little device tenses the muscles, and the muscles don't tense when you have Botox. But basically, if you do the forehead, you put the gel all across your forehead, and you start here, and you go up, two, three, up, two, three, up, two, three, up, two, three, up, two, three and apparently that smooths those lines in the forehead. Then you wipe the gel off, and the new face people say to let it sink into your skin because supposedly it does some good, but I think it feels a little weird, so I always do wash it off. But as you can see, this side of my face, I do believe looks more lifted than this side. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. I might whiz through it because it might be a little boring for you, but we'll see if we can't get a good effect on this side too. This side to me just looks more young and more lifted. Go ahead and put the gel on the other side and I get it right up under the eye because I do kind of hit that under eye area a little bit. Turn it on to the highest. There we go. Whoops, two. Three, again, you're gonna go three right at the jawline. Then you're going to go three right in the middle of your face, kind of over the cheekbone, mid face. It's the third one of the middle section. I think the new face really does help to keep things firmed up. And as we get older, every little bit helps. It's not a huge change, but I think it's a visible change over time. And you have to be patient. It takes a while for muscles to improve. These are very fine muscles on your face. So you're probably not gonna see a huge difference that's permanent right away. But I think over time, 
it does make a permanent difference on your face. I think this is the third one. And I'm getting the side of that eye there. And I'm going to go ahead and put some of that gel up on my upper eye. And I'll hold this for a count of three. I can feel it jiggling my upper eyelid. It's a strange feeling. That's three. Then I'll kind of go back and forth a little bit. The L attachment would be good for, for here, and I really need to start using it. Because it has two fine prongs with little electrodes on each one, and apparently it can really lift the eyebrows better than just this main unit. Now there's the other side of the face, and I do think that it looks more lifted. Let's go ahead and get a little more gel, and we're going to do, oh, I, for, I forgot these holes. Okay, I just did the upper eye, and I forgot my advanced holes down here, so I'll go ahead and do these. This is the jawline again, right where that little bag starts to form. I think I'll do two on this. I either do one or two holes, depending upon how much time I have. And I will say, when you're in the phase of the first 60 days, when you're supposed to use it every day, it's a little intense to do that. You can't do seven days a week. Sometimes you'll miss a night, but it's really okay. And I either do three or four separate holes here, depending upon how rushed I am. Sometimes I do it at night. And I think once you get into maintenance phase, that's just fine. I do like the extra holding it gives you though, just during the day. So it is kind of nice to do it in the morning. And I definitely like it that I'm now in the maintenance phase. I try to do it every other day, but they say two or three days a week is just fine. And some weeks I definitely do just the two and it seems to continue to keep my results. I'm gonna do another one in the middle there. I get kind of creative. Okay, I think it really did lift that other side, which really excites me. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the neck. I'll go ahead and put a little more gel down on the neck. Here we go. Let's do the under chin first. I like these home procedures that you can do every day that you don't really have to do every day. And again, after you get your results set, you can just do maintenance, which is about every other day, every third day. And that's really a nice thing. I'm gonna do this, this part again. It's right here for the chin muscles, right where we get our little double chin. I'll do two holes there. Now we'll do the upper neck. And again, that's one of the holes where you pull it. I do three until it beats. I don't know if you can hear that beat. It's helpful. Otherwise, I know me and I'd go too fast and I wouldn't get the good results. <laughs> Some mornings I get impatient. In fact, most mornings. Because I try to do YouTube videos in the morning so I'm kind of running late a lot of the time. So I'm always into saving steps. In those cases, I'll do this in the evening. Then you wipe off your new face, wipe off the gel. So that is a look at how my face looks after the new face. I really feel like it's keeping my jawline a little firmer and that it's keeping my cheekbones where they need to be. Okay, that was how I used the new face to keep my face looking as toned as possible in my second half. And again, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all the tools and tricks we can use to help ourselves look our best in our second half, I hope you'll click that bell and subscribe. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be great too. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And this is the Miracles Now card deck from Gabrielle Bernstein. Okay, let's choose a card to think about for today. Ooh, this is a good one. To travel further on my path of personal growth, I call on my spiritual running buddies for help. 
To travel further on my path of personal growth, I call on my spiritual running buddies for help. Oh, friends, I absolutely love this card, and I don't think I've gotten one like this before, but it brings to mind a really good point, and that is that we become like the people that we hang around with. And so it's important for us to look around at different points in our life and go, hey, who am I spending the most time with? Because that is who I will become like. And that's one of the reasons it's important in your group of friends to have your spiritual running buddies. And for me, that is a few people that I associate with in my church group because they always remind me to stay to the path, to pray, and to make God the center of my life. That is something that I tend to forget and it's something I keep practicing on is making God the center of my life and allowing Him to direct my course. So friends, just for today, let's remember the importance of the people that we hang out with and let's get some spiritual running buddies and take them with us on the path of life. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.